Graduates of the class of 2020, it is my privilege to address you as we recognize and celebrate your graduation from Laney College. While not in a traditional format, given our need to stay in place to protect each other, our loved ones, and the broader community, I hope you know that the entire Laney College community, our faculty and staff, and your fellow students are delighted by your success and reading you on to your next great endeavor. As we embark on a new decade, most of us couldn't have foreseen the challenges of a global pandemic, stay in place orders, new modes of learning, and the need to juggle not only being learners, but teachers to our children and support providers to our loved ones. I know there will be months of analyzing timelines, decrying decisions, and grappling with how best we find our way out of this crisis that has frayed the fabric of our institutions and our communities in terms of the way we work, play, and commune with each other. But I have no doubt in my mind that we have the incredible capacity to not only survive, but eventually thrive. And I look no farther than you, graduates of the class of 2020, as my evidence. Despite every challenge and the moving goalposts, you have persevered and continue to ensure that the story of you and your educational journey would be the triumph in the madness. It is the recognition of your grit, determination, and incredible intelligence. The story you will tell your children or your children's children's children will no longer be the one my grandparents told me about walking back and forth to school every day barefoot each way up a hill and in two feet of snow but it will be the story of the power you had to adapt, to pivot, and to be brave in the face of a global health crisis while staying committed to your academic and personal goals. When we talk about resiliency, innovation, and the true spirit of this moment, yours and that of our amazing Laney College faculty and staff will be the story I'll tell. My hope for you and for our global community is that this crisis has shown us not only our resiliency, but our interconnectedness across cities, towns, and countries, and that it connects us more deeply to an ethic of the generosity of spirit, where we are kinder to each other and give each other a bit more grace. I see the opportunity for a more compassionate global community that not only understands that a fire spreads from home to home very quickly, but they understand that the quicker we work together to put it out means it doesn't spread. Here in Oakland, I've seen more acts of kindness and the recognition that our pain is shared. And I look no farther than you, again, class of 2020, for the ways in which you recognized our need to pivot instruction and services to remote modalities while remaining supportive and patient as we work together. Graduates, today we celebrate your tremendous accomplishment of completing your degrees and certificates. We will confer upon you the rights and privileges of a college graduate and certify that you have demonstrated the depth and breadth of knowledge in your major and in the wider world. I am confident that you have been prepared to deal with the complexity, diversity, and change in our local and global communities through your critical thinking and integration of all you've learned. And I hope you will continue to be the systems changers, the advocates, the innovators, the hope we have for decades to come. Stand tall today and every day because you have shown the intelligence, determination, and grit that will serve you in any endeavor you undertake or any challenge set before you. By the virtue of the authority granted by the state of California and the powers vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the Peralta Community College District, I hereby confer upon you, the graduates of the class of 2020, the associate degrees and certificates certified by the college, your division deans and faculty with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. My, heart, my heartfelt congratulations to you all.
My name is Jia Lin Huang, the 2020 President Medallion Awardee. Today, I feel so honored to be able to talk to you, who have burst off to choose to attend college. You have been hardworking, persistent, and self-management enough to earn this degree even during these challenging times. Let's give ourselves a round of applause and be proud of what we have achieved. Graduating from college, we did it! It's never easy for me to graduate. Immigrate to America two and a half years ago. I feel so lost in this new environment. Language barrier, feeling lonely, culture shock, and experiencing social injustice was a giant hand holding my door, making me feel hard to breathe. As a first generation low income college student, I have worked 20 hours per week while enrolled 15 units every semester. Even though I have to stay up late to do my assignment every night while bearing unexpected mental pressure, I never feel regret attending college. My unique college experience here has reshaped my future, giving me a chance to thrive and succeed in America. Being able to study and work at Lenny College is one of the most wonderful things that happened to me. Lenny is special. It's my first school in America, and it's also offered me my first job. During my time here at Lenny, I started two student club. I have also served as a treasurer in the 2018 to 2019 student government. All this experience has made me who I am now. I am braver, stronger, more confident and happier. I want to say thank you to all who have helped me. Thank you, President Gilkerson. Gary O'Berry, the Director of Student Activities and Campus Life, David Lee, the Director of APAS, Hui Jun Su, Evelyn Moreno, and all the instructors who have been kind and supportive to me. Last but most importantly, I want to thank my parents, who always had my back and always there for me no matter what happened. Now, I'm transferring to UC Berkeley and will continue my journey of higher education. Graduation is a chance for us to look at the past, but most importantly, for us to look on what the future. No matter what your plan is, you are going to enter the next step of your life. I wish you all the best. And most importantly, don't forget Lenny when you become a billionaire. Thank you.